Hey, hey, Dr. Ray, founder of the Learning Liaisons. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to gain your teacher certification or your teacher licensure in the state of Texas. So before we jump into that, make sure you like the video, drop a comment below, what school district, or what topic would you like to teach uh, when you get that job, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. This way you get notifications of all the important content we roll out every single week and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see and we'll do our best to prepare those for you. All right, so with that being said, let's get to it. All right, so becoming a classroom teacher in the state of Texas consists of five steps. Step number one, obtain a bachelor's degree. All right, so this bachelor's degree doesn't have to be necessarily from a university in the state of Texas. It could be a bachelor's degree from an accredited university in any subject area possible. So you can see some of our past videos when we talk about the alt -Sart process, and you can go ahead and check that. We'll, we'll throw a little uh, box on the top of the screen. You can link straight to that video. But this video, we're gonna talk straight about how to gain that job and that certification in the state of Texas. So one, obtain a degree a bachelor's degree, all right? So that could be in any subject area. Next, all right, here's where things might change. You have to complete an approved educator preparation program, EPP, they call it in the state of Texas, all right? Now, here's the thing. If you already have a degree in the field of education, so let's say you went to University of Austin, or any other college or university within the state and you got a degree in education, like elementary education or middle school, whatever, you don't have to do this step. You don't have to do an educator preparation program, alternative uh, alternative certification route, because you already have that degree. But if your degree is not in education, you have to go through what we call the alternative certification program. For example, a Texas teacher's program uh, based out of Houston, which is the nation's largest alter program online. That's actually our parent company. You definitely should want to check out their website. If you have a degree that's not in education, you can go through one of those programs, which is an accredited program like Texas Teachers, do all your coursework, all the pedagogy, studying all the content review, pass your subject area exam to get into that program, and then proceed to pass any other required exams um, in the program and in your first year of teaching. All right. That brings me to step number three, which is pass your certification exams. Now, depending on the program you're in and the situation you're in, you have to pass certain exams to get into the program. So for example, the Alter program, Texas Teachers, our parent company, you have to pass your subject area exam. For example, you wanna be an elementary school teacher, you have to pass your EC through six, which is test 391, to get into the program. And then during the program, you can be a teacher in the classroom, get your job, but there are other exams and other coursework you have to finish within that first year of teaching or else you'll lose your job. So through this whole process, step number four is you're submitting a state application. Now, this is one of the first things you're going to do. They call it a statement of eligibility. You're filling out the, filling out the paperwork with the state. You're filing for a statement of eligibility. Some programs like Texas teachers actually can give you that statement of eligibility. They're the ones giving it to you. That's not the same from other, other organization, other routes that you're going. So that's step four. You have to submit a state application, right? Make sure that you're eligible to get into a program. Now, remember, I'm talking to my alternative certification people right now. If you're in the education and you graduated from university with your education degree, you already passed your exams. Right, so that's the two different tracks, those with the education degree and those in the alt-cert process. So I'm talking specifically to alt-cert right now, then we'll bring it all back together. So for my alt-cert people, you have got to make sure you're eligible for the program first. For example, some programs, you need to have a minimum of 2.5 GPA as your undergrad to get into the program, like a Texas teacher's program. So research your program you wanna get into, my alt-cert people, to make sure you're able to get into it because if you submit an application to the state and you're not eligible for a program to go through that certification process, you're wasting your time, your energy, and your money at that point. So make sure you are eligible. Step number five, let's bring it all back together. This is for my Alter peeps and my College of Ed peeps. Step number five is the last one, which is complete fingerprinting. So 
if you're a first time applicant in the state of Texas, you have to get fingerprinted as a part of your national criminal background check. So those are the five steps to get certified in the state of Texas. Number one, have a four year degree, right? Number two, complete an education preparation program. So if your undergrad is in education, that suffices that. If your undergrad is not in education, you got it through an accredited preparation program. And you can find a list of those on TEA on your Department of Education website. Three, pass your certification exams. And remember, depending on your program, your subject area might have to be passed first to get into the program. And then other exams that you might have required like the STR or the PPR, any other exams that you need. You have to do that within that first year of employment. Four, submit a state application. And five, complete your fingerprinting process. So that sums up, that is the five steps in order to become a certified teacher in the state of Texas. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. We'll do our best to address those for you. Remember, here at The Learning Liaisons, we specialize in helping you pass your certification exams on the first attempt, so you don't have to worry about that part of the roadmap or pathway towards certification. All right, so if you have any questions, drop them below. Check out our website. Join one of our Texas uh, free Facebook groups for motivation support. We can answer questions in that, in that group as well. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm Dr. Ray, founder of The Learning Liaisons, and we'll catch you in the next video. 